千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Eric Lin, where we delve deeply into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. So this is the concluding line about the Xia Shi, the lower level of people, and I thought that it might be very helpful for us to set. The three levels of people side by side, and look at the way they react to the Tao, and the way they live their lives on a day-to-day -day basis. That I think will make it really clear, you know,、uh, who they are, how they are. It will also be very helpful for all of us to look at the differences and see where you and I fit in. That's going to be a question that I ask everybody. Where do you fit in on the different levels? So here's the comparison of the three levels. And again, I'm using image of the Buddha, crowds, and the angry emoji as representations of the three levels: the high level, the mid level, and the low level. So when hearing about the Tao, high-level people resonate powerfully. So the reaction is likely to be, "Wow, that is so true. That is so well said." Hopefully, you find yourself having this reaction when you hear of the authentic Tao. What about mid-level people? Not the same reaction when they hear about the Tao. Hmm, interesting. I'll think about it, or sometimes it's hmm, interesting. I'll have to think about it, or they'll say I'll meditate on it. So there's not the same level of powerful, powerfully resonating in the heart, identifying with something, recognizing a great truth. And then what about low level? How do they react when they hear about the Tao? It may be what? That is ridiculous. That is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. What is this nonsense? And that leads to the laughter, the mockery, and so on. So then, this is drawn from the first few lines of this chapter. I want to explore a little bit further. Like, what about the actions that they take upon encountering the Tao? The high-level person, their subsequent action is going to be diligent practice. This is also from the first part of、uh, chapter forty-one. The mid-level people, as you have read, it's on and off. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. They'll pick it up for a while and then they drop it off and they'll get they'll get、uh, they'll go on to do something else. And then the low level people, mockery, rejection, ridicule. That is their reaction. Hence, laugh loudly, laugh loudly at the Tao. Now. Probing a little bit further, the level of motivation that I talked about before can be quite different. As I mentioned, for the high level, they're soft starters. You don't have to tell them what to do, what they should do, and how to go about it. They're soft starters. They will get going on their own. That's a characteristic of the high level person. 
the mid-level person is a little different. They will get started if you tell them to, hey, it's don't you think it's time for you to get going on that, on that particular practice? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll do it. I'll start, I'll start now, or I'll start today, or I'll start tomorrow. Either way, the characteristic is that the mid-level students will get going if someone nudges them in that direction rather than just completely automatic and independent on their own. So what about the low level? Well, the low level person refuses to budge. What? No, that's ridiculous. No, why would I do that? No, you're kidding, right? No, not in a thousand years, and so on. Next, I want to talk about the spiritual practice among the three levels, the goal of the spiritual practice, how much do they understand about their spiritual practice is reflected in what they're trying to accomplish with the spiritual practice. See which one of these applies to you better. For the high level person, that person understands that spiritual practice, the goal is to cultivate the true self. When I talk about the true self, I'm not talking about your body. I'm not talking about your reputation, your bank account. All of those are external to you. I'm not even talking about your name. I'm not even talking about your thoughts. I'm not talking about anything that will change. The true self is the you that never changes, no matter what else about you changes. That's what we cultivate. How about the mid-level person? Well, when the mid-level person engages in spiritual pursuits, spiritual practice, usually, and this is typical, see we have the picture of the crowds below, this is what many people do, pray for protection. Pray for divine favors. And from the perspective of the Tao, those kinds of prayers are not, not that much different from wishful thinking. It is only when wishful thinking is combined with action that you start to see a difference in the world. What about low level? Low level people. What do they do when it comes to the spiritual practice? Well, they go through the motions. It's very surface level with them. They don't particularly think about what it means. They just do it because that's, that's what they've been brought up to do. That's what's expected of them. So they go through the motions without thinking about it too much. Then, I also want to talk about how the different levels focus their thoughts on a typical day-to-day -day basis. The high-level person is putting the focus or the emphasis on the spiritual side of life, that there is a spiritual basis for everything that they do and think about and express. Mid-level people, what about them? Well, rather than focusing on the spirituality in life, they are often distracted by many different theories, many different philosophies. They're constantly reading one book after another, each one espousing a different theory. When they're done with one, there's another shiny object, another philosophy for them to take a look at but then they never actually get down to using any one of the things that they have read. So many distractions for the mid-level person. The low-level person, well, the focus is not on philosophies or spirituality. The focus is on materialism, the material side of life. And then finally, when it comes to the journey of life, a high-level person is someone who can see the path clearly. This is where I am 
that this path is where I am going. They see the path clearly. They know where they have to go. They know what they have to do. The mid-level person, exploring, looking for a way, try out different paths. Problem is, they often spend way too much time looking for different ways than to focus on a particular way. And then low-level person, lost and confused, disoriented, don't know which way to go. So the very last category of comparison between the, the three levels is what I would call how they conduct themselves. The high-level person understands the DAO, understands the principle that governs all things. So the higher level this person is, the better, deeper their understanding of the DAO. The mid-level students don't necessarily have that level of understanding. They know to follow rules. They don't exactly know the reasoning behind the rules, but they follow the rules. Low-level people can't even do that. They fail to follow rules, and therefore, they resort to making excuses. All right. So, once you see these different descriptions, I want everyone to take a moment to see where you belong. And hopefully, it's uh, at least just somewhere in the middle, maybe a little bit to the left. That would be awesome. If not, it's just something that we need to work on together. Time flies when we're having fun, so we're actually at the end of our time together today. I want to bring everyone to the summary. And the summary, not a big surprise, is a re-emphasis on Sang Shi. To become a higher level person, it is a worthy aspiration for all of us. So I have some suggestions on reaching for a higher level. You may be doing some of these things already. If so, more power to you. Keep on doing it. And again, I'll use the uh, Buddha as a symbol of the attainment, the aspiration to get to a higher level. So suggestion number one, I want you to take full advantage of your connection to the Tao. You see, the reason why I say that is because living in the West, for you to have found your way to the Tao, listening to me, in some cases, reading my books, that's actually unusual. That's actually not the majority of the people. They don't exactly, they don't exactly flock to this uh, Sunday meeting. This is, uh, this is rare. This is a connection that you have to the Tao. You have an affinity to the Tao. And it is something that I want you to cherish. Acknowledge it, treasure it, cherish it, take advantage of it. Go as far with the Tao as you can because not everybody has the same connection that you do. Number two, I want to suggest if you haven't already done so, that you can establish simple personal ritual as a gift for yourself. What do I mean by that? Well, for instance, in the morning, set up a routine to center yourself. Some people like morning meditation. I think that's very helpful. Some people like to maybe read a page from, a, from an inspirational book. But the idea is to center yourself and set the right tone for the entire day. And another suggestion, is to set up a daily walk for relaxing the body and clearing the mind. Now, these are just suggestions. You know, whatever you do for yourself, the only suggestion, the higher level suggestion that I have is to establish some kind of personal ritual that you can stick to on a day-to-day -day basis. Number three, I want to caution everyone that when you encounter other people at a lower level, that you do not look upon them with scorn. You look upon them as resources that you care about, 
that you can learn a lot from. They provide plenty of counterexamples on what not to do. And lastly, and this is the compliment, when you uh, have people who are at a higher level, people who live and learn from life at a higher level with greater wisdom, I would suggest that you seek them out to learn from them in terms of how they think about life. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us travel safely. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness.